I guess I should introduce myself. I am Disorder. Hey, it's not that stupid. Kanye and Kim named their kid North. Okay, actually, my real name is Chloe, but sometimes it just feels like it's Disorder. People can't seem to mention Chloe without mentioning Disorder. Disorder, Chloe, Chloe, Disorder. Okay, you look confused. Would someone mind helping me read this? I do it myself, but I have a disorder, so we'd be here a while. Just read the first definition on the board. Anyone? A confused or messy state. That applies. I'll go along with that. See, I'm an artist, so I love confusion and a mess. I thrive on it. Can you read the second one? What was that last part you read, that last word? Normal. Thanks for the help. And great reading, by the way. Very normal. No confused or messy state there. Every syllable right where it's supposed to be. Perfectly normal. See, that's what my mother would like me to be called. She'd like a change from disorder to normal. So instead of having to say, that's my daughter, she has a disorder, she could say, that's my daughter, she's normal. <sighs> that's a big deal to her, to everyone. It's like a race, a big race to see who can be the most normal. Some clothes on, eat some grub, brush your teeth. Hey, look here, put those on. Eyes up here, time to go to school. Shut her down, now let's go off your music stool. I'm really tired, feels like you're never listening. I'm losing my shit, though that's really interesting. Come on, boy, I am begging you. Okay, Dad. Oh, thank God. Yahoo! Another day. Left arm in, up goes the head. High Breathe, you can do this, just a flutter in your stomach. Breathe, there's no hurry, you'll get past this, you can make it. 
breathe, you can't read, you can't understand your homework. Breathe, everybody thinks you're bitchy and a problem. Breathe, when we break the sentence down. Breathe, we find the subject verb. Breathe, what's the preposition in the sentence? Breathe, Chloe. This is so stupid. Who cares? <laughs> Whatever. Another day in high school, fitting in, not sticking out. Riding the waves on the edge of disaster, rising up is slow, falling down is faster. Make sure I have my space. It's a crazy, desperate place, and with my fears, I've got to face another day in high school. What? You don't see it at first. He'll grow out of it, you tell yourself. He'll be fine. Kids change. They develop differently. At different rates. There's, There's no, no such, such thing, thing as, as normal. normal. She's just different. He's unique. He's special and funny. My goodness, what a sense of humor my Eddie has. You should see Chloe's paintings. So amazing and so vivid. In my band, if they invented a new musical instrument tomorrow, my band would have mastered it by supper. What a great musician you could be. What a brilliant artist she could be. What a fabulous comedian he could be. If he could only. If she could only. If he could only. Connect. Focus. Talk. If he could only. If she could only. If we could only. Bridge the distance. Ben likes his room. Never wants to leave it. All day with his headphones on his ears and his hands on his keyboard, I have to remind him to go to the bathroom. I'm a musician as well, so I understand. Ben's a good kid, never complains. Sits at his keyboard playing endless refrains. Lost in his music, his fingers glide on the keys. I watch him in wonder, but he never sees. It's a lonely duet, just him and me. I thought being a parent would be an exhilarating experience. Well, it is, kinda. If I could only, if I could only, if I could only, if I could only bridge the distance. Chloe was four before I could admit something was not quite right. She was falling behind. She had trouble putting letters and numbers in order. Sequencing, the therapist called it. And when she fell behind developmentally, falling behind socially was only a matter of time. So math and English were a nightmare, but our class, our class was another story. Chloe's artwork, it's so unique. Look how her paintings find a new way to speak. Throwing out orders, she turns it all upside down. Her colors and chaos, they always astound. Kids can't see what I see. They don't know how. You know, kids, if there's something to poke fun at, they'll poke. Chloe isn't stupid. She's a genius, just a different kind of genius. If I could only, if I could only, if I could only reach the distance. Eddie was just fine, talking, interacting. At 10 months, he had four or five words. In command of those words, he wasn't just parroting. He used them in context, well ahead of the curve. His sister didn't start talking until well past a year, so naturally, we figured Eddie was destined for great things. A doctor, a lawyer, a TV weatherman. It was anyone's guess. He could be anything, and that's because all signs pointed to success. Hard to explain it, just less Every day, just less Less talking, less interacting By the time it was a year and a half There was less than less There was nothing And that's what it's been for 14 years 
So you pull yourself together, you drag yourself out of your delusion. That state where in a span of 30 seconds you go from she's perfectly normal to she's Rosemary's baby. And you admit that there's a problem and you tackle it. Yes, they're different. Yes, there's a problem. It was hard to admit, but you plan your attack. So you set a course to find answers and solutions, but good luck getting anyone to call you back. All too quick you realize there's lots of lows and not enough highs. It's a house of cards on a windy day, but you hold your ground to find a way for your child. A cure? Do we really need cured? People seem to think so. Uh-huh. Now serving number 17. I'm not unhappy. Are you? Okay. You should hear my mom. What's wrong, Chloe? Why so sullen? Having a bad day? I have my art and that's enough. I have my music. Uh-huh. Now serving number 43. So my grades aren't the best. You don't need to be on the honor roll to make art and music, right? Right. So I don't have many friends. Friends will eventually let you down. Just like fathers. You don't have a father? Uh-huh. No, I have a father. I don't have a mother. Uh-huh. Now serving number 68. My father is small and square, like a check. Matter of fact, he is a check. I see him once a month when he stops by our mailbox. I don't have a mother, uh-huh. Not even a picture of a mother. At some point, you had to have a mother. I had one before I was born, for one night, uh-huh. A one-night stand? My dad was a roadie, uh-huh. They hooked up at a band party and then, whoops, uh-huh. I was told she didn't mind having me. She'd hang around for that. She'd experience that. That's so cool. All that pushing and breathing. What a rush. I mean, childbirth. But I'm not really into for the whole completion thing. See, I prefer to accumulate experiences, just let them dangle. Twisting and searching through the vacuum of time. Ah. She didn't help raise you? Nope. Uh huh. But things could be a lot worse. Uh huh. I think his name is Freddy, uh-huh. Eddie. I heard his parents talking. He's got parents? Plural. As in two of them, uh-huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. I wonder how that works. Now serving number 82. 82. Hi, Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Jesus. People say I'm quiet, uh-huh. I don't think he can talk. I think he's nonverbal. Fist bump, bed. The universal language. What do you think he thinks while he does that? Uh-huh. Twirls that towel. Probably nothing much. He looks very calm. <laughs> what do you think about when you're writing music? Architecture. That's cool. I think about lines and colors mostly. Now serving whoever's left. Hi, uh, Eddie, right? It's nice to meet you. Ah!
And Eddie, can you say pi? We'll start with that. That's an easy one. Hi, Ed. Hi, Eddie. No? I'd like to say I've heard a lot about you, but the last therapist didn't leave any notes. Nothing, not a word, zilch. Like he knew he wouldn't be back. <sighs> hey, Ed. Sorry to break this to you, buddy, but this will be our last session together. I found a new job, something a little less strenuous than trying to get you to nod yes. I'm gonna lug furniture for a moving company. Fist bump. <laughs> So, Ed, what would you like to talk about for the next 57 minutes? Sports, girls, the weather? Hi, it's nice to meet you. Um, Ben. Ben! Ben! Can you look here a minute? Maybe take the headphones off? Great. Now, in the notes left by uh -huh. your last therapist, it says... Uh -huh. You like music. I compose music, uh-huh. Everyone likes music. Is that what you're listening to now? Your music? Hi, uh, Chloe. I'm Mr. Bradley, but you can call me Brad if you want. Why aren't you female? Oh, sorry, you'll have to take that up with my chromosomes. <laughs> uh, I'd like to keep these sessions informal, if that's all right with you. I Fine, that works best. Now, the last therapist left some notes that say, among other things, that you like to draw. Oh, isn't that nice? And paint and sculpt. I'm an artist, an actual artist. Okay, okay. Is there anything other than this artist thing? What do you do in your free time? Draw and paint and sculpt. That's it? What about your social life? Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> Hey, Chloe, it's me. I got the tickets to the Sarah Bareilles concert. My parents are going away for the weekend, so we can have another sleepover. Call me. Well, do you? Uh, no. <laughs> Send. Of the outside, I'm a distant planet far beyond the Milky Way. I'm not part of the party, I'm not part of the in crowd, I'm not part of what they all hold true. I'm not part of the dances, I'm not part of romances, I'm not part of anything, cause I'm not anything like you. I am fine here in my own world I don't need you, I don't need a thing There is comfort when I'm by myself I'm happy, low-key, no anxiety, just free You're not part of the party, you're not part of the in-crowd You're not part of what we all hold true Like a merry-go-round Or a ferris wheel In a carnival That is passing through town With me as the main attraction Step right up, folks! Feast your eyes on these amazing creatures! Marvel at the strange artwork of the girl who reads backwards And eats her lunch in the art supply room! astounded by this boy's complex musical compositions, yet he can't even comprehend simple math. And finally, bear witness to the tale of the boy who speaks in no words, unable to communicate. What does he want? What does he think? What's the difference? We're never going to know anyway. 
can't you see why I am better in my own world? I don't need you, I don't need a thing. Music, artwork, and whatever he is doing, saying, can't you all just let us be? Hey, Ben, how's therapy? Okay. What'd you talk about? Stuff, uh-huh. What kind of stuff? The usual. I need to finish this, Dad. What's the usual? What it's like at home, uh-huh. You haven't gone through that before? New therapist, uh-huh. Uh, again? What happened to the last one? You were finally making progress. Quit. Better job, benefits, uh-huh. Uh, this is pointless. Uh-huh. Ben, you want to go get ice cream? Ben, ice cream. Rocky Road. Moose tracks. Ben? More for me. How was therapy today, son? That new therapist, she's a cutie, huh? Not gonna tell your mother I said that. You hungry? Thirsty? How about a treat? Wanna go for a drive? A nice long drive, and then we'll go get a treat. We're not. We're, we're swimming. We could go swimming. Guess not. How skydiving? We could go skydiving or scuba diving or bar hopping or we could rob a bank. Hey, buddy. Did you feed him? Not yet. Did you put him on the potty? You know he won't go for me. Hey, buddy. How was therapy? Why don't you tell mommy all about it? Make the lunches, fold the clothes, all the things a mother does, nobody knows. Keeping schedules and cleaning the house, trying very hard to be a dutiful spouse. Cooking meals and dealing with strife, that's the daily duty of mother and wife. Hey Chloe, how was therapy? Chloe, huh? how was therapy? Okay. Did you read? Yeah. What'd you read? I don't know, the one about that girl. What girl? I don't know, that girl. What girl? I think it's Judy something. Oh, let me guess, Judy Moody? Ha ha. What'd you talk about? Stuff. What kind of stuff? Chloe, what kind of stuff? The usual! How am I supposed to know what the usual is? I'm not even in the room. What it's like at home. Again? You haven't gone through that before? New therapist. Another one? But you were making such progress. What happened to her? Pregnant. Can I paint now? Ben, come on. Take the headphones off, Ben. Come on. Let's go out. Oh, come on, let's go to the ball game. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh, you need to get out. Get some sun. I'm working on something, uh-huh. What is it? What are you working on? A Fantasia. That's great, son. That's much better than a bop. Uh-huh. Can I hear it? Oh, God, that's amazing, son. But distractions are good to get away from work and recharge your batteries. The ball game does it for me, and I already made the PB&J. Ask someone from work, uh-huh. You can't enjoy a ball game with the people you're trying to get away from. Maybe you need a girlfriend, uh-huh. That's not easy, Ben. It's hard to meet people to find uh -huh. someone with the same uh -huh. interests. And then there's me, uh-huh. They ben, get one good look at me that. and they're gone, uh-huh. No one wants ben. to raise someone else's kid, especially one like me. Ben, that's not true. What about the drummer? She used to talk to you a lot. Yeah, about my music, uh-huh. Next time, don't introduce me, okay? I'd be happy to just stay in my room. You can't just stay uh -huh. in your room. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ben! She's just like all the others, uh-huh. She thought it, uh-huh. She thought it through and then disappeared. Don't say that. Where is she then, uh-huh? Who knows, on tour, yeah, probably, tour, but... Tour, okay. 
These are the single people that I meet. All day, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. married women uh -huh. bring their uh -huh. kids for uh -huh. lessons. Uh -huh. Take the headphones off, Ben. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ben, uh -huh. leave the uh -huh. house. Uh -huh. Join the world, Ben. Uh -huh. I swear to God, I'll take that keyboard away. Uh -huh. Ben, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ben, uh -huh. give me a break, son. I got nothing here, nothing but work. You won't spend time with me because you're always uh -huh. with your music, uh -huh. and I can't find anyone else to spend time with because... Because of me? Uh-huh. No, that's not what I was going to say. Then what? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ben, can you hear me? Ben, can you see me? Locked in your music like Tommy and Pinball. I just want the key to set you free for everyone to see your brilliance, love, your music, and you. Sweet boy. Uh huh. Make the lunches and fold the clothes. All the things a mother does, nobody knows. Keeping schedules. Eddie, not so hard. You're hurting me. Eddie, Eddie! Hey, honey. How was your day? Great. What happened? I'm gonna go cut the grass. Cleaning the house. Trying very hard to be a dutiful spouse. Cooking meals and dealing with strife. I hate my life. Chloe, I was thinking we might go shopping. New brushes. My old brushes are dying, Mom. They suck. They have these new I ones was that... thinking clothes. Combat boots. Dresses. <laughs> dresses? The formal is coming up. I don't have a date. Maybe if you dress nice and combed your hair. I am painting. Your grades came today. I am painting. It's not your art grade I'm worried about. Do we have to talk about this now? Yes, we're running out of schools. What are we going to do, Chloe? You've got to pay attention to your schoolwork. It's hard. We can't just go from school to school hoping that will solve the problem. It's hard. I know, it's hard. No, you don't. You think you do, but you don't. Trust me. Everyone has to read. You're in high school and you can barely read. I can read. Barely. I'm tired of having to go to restaurants with pictures on the menu. I can't believe you went there! I can't believe you said that! I am sick and tired of hearing you nag about what you think I should be doing. I am sick and tired of watching you sulk locked up inside your bedroom. You don't understand. You don't understand. You don't understand. Try me. You just want to have a perfect daughter. See you try for once, fix your hair, show you care. I care! About what? If you don't know, then never mind. Oh, there you go, turn your back. You, you don't, don't understand. understand, you only care about yourself. It's not real what she wants. It's just not realistic. Pretty face, pretty hair. Plastic smile, now that's the picture that she wants me to show the world This fake perfection, it's not a true reflection of me See me through my lines and colors, they're messy just like me When you see my lines and colors, I'm giving you the key to my heart And everything that's me And I know she just 
just wants to help her daughter fit in in the world what a world looking good is half the battle and she wants me to play the game with no objections but all i see is rejection of me see me through my lines and colors they're messy just like me when you see my lines and colors i'm giving you the key to my heart to my mind and everything that's me you want to know me look at my art just look what i put on the canvas why does it seem that nobody ever tries to understand this but to me it's clear as day and every model purple green and gray see what it has to say now look at this line how it disappears it's me every day getting swallowed by fears these deep red strokes up in no man's land are the screens for the things i don't understand and these blues are the blues i hide away each day these blues i hide away and those specks of gold not to be sappy but i had them last cause they make me happy they're my finishing touch to a story i've told in a world i've escaped to where i have control each painting tells a story in my life you're not part of the party you're not part of the in crowd you're not part of what we all hold true you're not part of the dances, you're not part of romances, you're not part of anything, cause we're not anything like you. Maybe they're right, maybe my lines and colors are only that. Nothing special just like me. Is what you get? No. The first I heard of this normalcy stuff was in the therapist's office, the waiting room, that place where all the latest cures are poured over. I saw this thing online that says that it might be environmental, that it might be caused from chemical toxins in the air. That's so great. That means we only have to move everything with chemicals into the shed and make sure we never take him to hardware stores, grocery stores, schools, churches, swimming pools, friends' houses, or any place that might have chemicals. Cured! <laughs> you kind of feel bad for the new ones. The noobs, the ones who haven't been on the roller coaster yet. Oh. The roller coaster, or as I refer to it, here, try this. Probiotics, antibiotics. Clean room, hyperbaric oxygen chamber. Heavy metal detoxification. Being a musician, Ben was all over that one. Let's do the heavy metal one, Dad. He thought it would be cool. It wasn't, uh-huh. And of course, the diets. Gluten-free, casein-free. Soy-free. Believe me, none of them were free. How, mu how come it costs more money to take something out than it does to leave it in? And none of them worked. Nothing. I was waiting for some therapist to suggest that we try human sacrifice or dancing naked around a fire. When I first heard about normal C. You never know when one of those days is going to arrive. Those days that can change your life. A new miracle drug was about to be tested. You hear these things so often, you tend not to pay them much mind. The latest scientific paper or the newest fad isn't enough. We've still got 14 cases of fish oil gummy bears in our garage. So you need to see it work. You need to see the before shot and the after shot before you go all in. Again. Our revolutionary new drug, Normal C, is designed to attack neurological disorders at the molecular level, working to normalize faulty brain connections, a bringing together of all those compromised to a central, normal point of existence. Then I saw it. 
the aftershot. The same place we found, about, found out about autism, a 60 Minutes report. Only this time we were watching The Cure. In the show, they showed a boy before normalcy and after normalcy. And the difference was? Life-changing. And it makes you wonder, if it can do that to a kid with severe symptoms, what it might do for my Chloe, who just has a little sequencing problem. Or my Ben, who just has a little socializing problem. So, so you'll get into it. it. After the enormous success of initial testing, our parent companies moved to authorize additional trials of normal C. These advanced stage 2 trials are geared to test three distinct manifestations of neurological disruption. That's why your children have been chosen. Brain scans will record patterns of brain activity which will then be compared to similar profiles taken throughout the trial period. This, done in conjunction with testing, and close visual observation of the subject's behavior, will provide the vital data which should confirm our research. But what do they do, the kids? I mean, the subjects. The subjects ingest the normalcy medicament. They take a pill. The rest is just testing and observing. Is there any other way than a pill? Maybe a liquid? You see, Artie doesn't take pills, so we have to grind them up in a bowl and... Honey, it's okay. If we have to, we'll give it to him rectally. Another job for you. That won't be necessary. Our staff will administer the normal C doses for the length of the trial period. So, let's get to the paperwork. It is extensive medical history, releases, etc. Hey there! Yo! Uh, Yes? What's with the name? Why is it called Normal C? I assume you're referring to the uncharacteristic spelling, the traditional ending Y being replaced by a dash, followed by an uppercase C. Not the C. spelling, the meaning. Why is it called Normal C? Excellent question, Subject 176. I'm not a subject, I'm a Chloe. Subjects is a standard clinical term, a convenient way of identifying You the can't tell us apart. We're all pretty different. The antisocial one is Ben. The one that flaps and makes weird noises is Eddie, and I'm Chloe, the pain in the ass. Certainly I can tell you apart. I would think that telling us apart would be pretty important if you're going to cure us. And if we cure you, telling you apart will cease to be important. So maybe the C stands for conformity. Now if you please follow me into the outer wait, office. Wait, wait! What about my question? Oh, yes, and your question was, uh... Over here! Chloe! How did it come by its name, this miracle drug? We could reference it by its original designation, N55469-C, instead of normal C. Doesn't matter. To me, it's C. Lamorne. C. Lamorne? I'm dyslexic, remember? You know, I've often thought that those afflicted with dyslexia would be excellent at creating anagrams. Just write a word down and it comes out jumbled up. Maybe I'll look into anagrams if the art thing doesn't work out. Now, the I really art thing? I'm an artist. That's not in your notes? No. No room for it really on the chart. Now if you'll please follow me into the Wait, other... Wait! Now I really need to know why you call your drug Normal C. Well, it's rather complicated. The drug is designed to... Here. I got this from a dictionary. I'd read it to you, but it would take twice as long and come out sideways. It's rather unusual for a subject to have a sense of humor regarding their disorder. It's called a defense mechanism. If you'd gone through middle school with a disorder, you'd understand. My name's Chloe. My word's cat. T-A-K, cat. <laughs> T-A-C, you idiot. Really? You tore this from a dictionary? That's very irresponsible. Senseless vandalism. What happens when somebody needs to reference something from this When's volume? the last time you looked something up in a book? Normalcy. Noun. The condition of being normal, the state of being usual, typical, or expected. What you just read. Yes? I don't want to be that. In the case of Eddie Smith, Subject, subject 174. 74. Yes, the patterns are quite obvious. You don't have to tell me more. I observed his deep obsession of wanting oral stimulation using random objects placed in his, his mouth. mouth. We will aim to break this habit, show him mouths are made for speaking. Our path is clear. For ready. Subject 174. Stick to the subject. No need to learn our names. The data tells us everything. The patterns are the same. Stick to the subject. Avoid our personal quirks. It's the 
our brains that we're concerned with Let the science do the work Eddie, why don't you give me the object and let's play a game Would you like that? Yes? And, of course, the most obvious, the complete lack of discernible speech. Let's look at some pictures. What about the science? The brain scan revealed that the initial wave in the cerebral cortex is present, allowing the identification of an image. Look at these pictures. Which one is the horse? That's great, Eddie. It's the absence of the secondary wave, which is the issue. Now, what other pictures remind you of the horse? In a normal functioning brain, an image of a horse would trigger a follow-up wave, bringing pictures of a stable, saddle, pasture, etc. Recommended procedure? 500 milligrams of normalcy daily, then simple images leading to secondary associations and the formation of discernible speech. In the case of Ben McVeigh, Subject 175. Yes, his Asperger's, his textbook case. When we work with him, he'll thrive. All his awkward interactions, marked by verbal repetition, of his inner thoughts will cease. Mark my words. Ha uh ha. -huh. And the absence of variety in choices that are taken will disappear. For Benji. Subject 175. Stick to the subject. No need to learn. Avoid our personal quirks, it's our brains that we're concerned with, let the science do the work. Benjamin, I'm taking lunch orders. Ben, what would you like for lunch and dinner? PB and J, uh-huh. But you had a peanut butter and jelly for breakfast. PB and J, uh-huh. It's obvious that the peanut butter and jelly sandwich gives him comfort. Order it, please. Of course. Oh. But, of course, the most notable symptom is the overwhelming... The overwhelming focus on a particular field, yes. In his case, music. Have you heard his music? Incredible! Ben, can we hear your music? Never had a lesson. Savant-like. He can stop that now. Thank you, Ben! Uh-huh. Is his gift genetic? The profile says that his father is a musician. I would describe that influence as negligible. How can you be certain? I've heard his father's music. Hi, I'm Jerry. I'm Ben's father. I'm a musician, too. I wrote this. Are you dating anyone at the moment? Is that a no? Focus on the science, please. The ability of the Asperger to screen out distractions is fundamental to creativity. His affliction is his salvation. Uh, I would hardly refer to composing music into headphones 24-7 as salvation. 500 milligrams daily and... Oh. Then gradually vary his dietary options and opportunities for social interaction until his obsessive behavior comes secondary to a desire to interact socially. And finally, there's Chloe Angelino. 176. She's quite creative, loves to paint and draw. Not important. But her difficulty in sequencing her numbers and her letters shows directional dyslexia. Aha! Uh -huh. Dyslexia, brought about by aberrant neuronal migration? Genetics. Wait, so this was passed down? I have my parents to thank. Your mother claimed that your father was also afflicted, often confusing his left from his right. We refer to this as directional dyslexia. Directional? I don't know about that. When he heard my diagnosis, he sure didn't have any trouble finding his way out the door and out of the picture. Hey, 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 Glo, uh, I gotta go. I'm, uh, late for my plane. But I've switched my name out of all the utilities and left a couple grand in the bank account. Don't expect to see the checks until the 15th, though. That's what the court ordered. Chloe, be good, and, uh, I'll call you on your birthday. When's your birthday again? If you don't mind, I'm gonna listen to some of Ben's music and sketch. It's wrong to lump Chloe in with the other subjects. How so? Ben and Eddie's reward system has been altered by their condition. Chloe's has not. So failed academics and abandoning by a parent bring about shame and alienation. Speculative. Her issues don't lie in jumbled numbers and letters. Her issues are the results of jumbled numbers and letters. We cannot treat her case the same. Miss Johnson, you will bring your unique insights to the procedures outlined for Subject 174. But you were scheduled to work with Eddie. I will be working with Subject 176. Chloe? But 
the staff was in consensus that she would benefit from a female's understanding. I'm quite capable of providing the required understanding. 500 milligrams daily and... 500? And written and oral testing assignments increasing in complexity throughout the trial period. Excellent. This breakthrough in treatment will bring all those compromised to a central, manageable point in a coherent, tranquil existence. Stick to the subject. No need to learn our names. The data tells us everything. The patterns are the same. Stick to the subject. Avoid our personal quirks. It's our brains that we're concerned with. Which is the picture of the horse? Eddie, can you please show me the horse? Or Eddie, please so show me the horse. What was that again? Could you repeat that? Oh, come on, Eddie. I know what I heard. I heard you say... Or horse. Again? You said it again. Oh, come on. If you said it once, you can say it. Horse. Again? The horse! Ben, could you remove your headphones, please? Thank you. What would you like for lunch? PB&J, uh-huh. You had a PB&J for breakfast. PB&J, uh-huh. All right, PB&J it is. And a pickle. Excuse me? Could I have a pickle too? Huh. One PB&J on the way, with a pickle. Hateful day when I re re received life, I exclaimed in agony. A, a cursed creator, why did you form a monster so hideous that even you turn from me in disgust? Medical comments. God in pity also made the man beautiful therapy. and alluring after his own image, but I am a filthy type of yours, more horrid even from the very resemblance. And that passage it sounds Satan familiar. had his come. Companions, Horse. fellow devils, to admire Horse. and encourage him. But I am solitary and a horse. horse. Mmm. Pickle. Eddie, we need to review this picture. What is it of? Yes, horse. we know it's a horse. We want to have a progression, a conversation. So tell me about the place the horse lives in. What's it called? Horse. No pictures. You need to do this on your own. The horse lives in a big place. It starts with an S. Uh, s s stable. Yes, the horse lives in a stable. Now, where does the stable belong? No pictures. The stable belongs on a big place with fences and other animals. Uh, f f farm. Yes! The horse lives in a stable, and the stable's on a farm! Farm. Mm. Oh, this is incredible, Eddie! You have a secondary way of connecting related images! Now let's... P pigs! Ah! Pigs! Keep going! Bathroom. Bathroom? Bathroom. That's, that's great, Eddie! Another really useful word, but that's not a relatable image. Bathroom. Room. And you're changing the subject. That's perfectly natural. People do it all the time. Room. I did it just this morning when my boyfriend asked me if I wanted to move in Bath with him. Room. So you want me to take you to the bathroom? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yes? Yeah? Yes! Oh my god, you just said yes! A purely verbal response. Your needs changed, so you changed the subject. Yes, I'll take you to the bathroom. Day 42, definite the presence of a secondary room. wave. Connecting related images! Man, I brought your lunch. PB and J no. and a pickle. No! You're not hungry? Yes, yes, yes! I'll just set it over here. The first two movements of your Fantasia are beautiful, just beautiful. I played them for Molly in IT and she wept. It's so beautiful! I mean, really wet. Oh, oh my god! I can't stand it! Oliver Keyboard shorted it out. Shit! 
It's amazing how you can hear that all in your head, the way the melody just... Is there a Taco Bell around here? <laughs> Not one that serves PB&J. Funny. No! No! The Creeper! Huh? Blew up my house. Ooh. I guess we can go run out and get you some Taco Bell if you'd like. Can I go? <laughs> Taco Bell? No! 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 Ooh. Uh, okay. I don't know. Do they have burritos? So you don't want your PB&J? I'd like to go to Taco Bell and eat there. It'll be crowded. Lots of people. Cool. <laughs> Day 42. Reward pathway widening. Seeking social interaction. The PB&J has been officially replaced by the burrito. And a possible diminish of the vocal tick. Uh-huh. Good morning, Chloe. Hey. Are you ready to do some reading? Too late. I finished. But you were just getting to the good part. I'd really like to know how it ends. You guys are too much. You really think you're clever trying to trick me into reading. Fine. For a moment, my soul was elevated from its debasing and miserable fears. For an instant, I dared to shake off my chains and look around me with a free and lofty spirit. That's amazing, Chloe! Yes, accuracy is outstanding. Now the comprehension... What's the author trying to say? What's it about? It's about getting up. The chains are the crap of life. It's about pulling yourself up out of the crap. That's not exactly how I would put it, but yes, you're correct. We're out of rye bread! How am I supposed to have my sandwich without rye bread? Oh, please, continue. Don't let me interrupt. But the iron had eaten into my flesh, and I sank again, trembling and hopeless into my miserable self. Curious passage, but well read. Yes, I can read. Your little pill works. You can all relax now. Outstanding. Day 42. Direction of dyslexia no longer acute. Speed, accuracy, and comprehension exceeding expectations. You should be happy, Chloe. Really? Why don't you take the rest of the day off? You've earned it. Do some sketching. What have you been working on? Chloe's reading wonderful news. Shelves full of books and there's so many to choose. Her sketchbook lies empty. It's really left me confused. I'm worried her talent is something she'll lose But her reading is great, she's lost her muse Hi, Eddie. How are you today? Fine. Fine. I like that shirt. Th thank you. I thought we could have hot dogs today for lunch. And <clears throat> chips. Yes, you can have chips with your hot dog. And do. <laughs> I like Mountain Dew, too. I was going to have you start our conversation today, but it seems you already have. Day 63, conversation. A doctor, a lawyer. A TV weatherman. Now it's, it's anyone's, anyone's guess. He can be anything. And that's because all signs point him towards success. You know he's been needing me less. The way that I soothed him just less. Every day, just less. Ben's a good kid, hasn't complained. Sits on his cell phone playing video games. He's eating some new things, but music strangely gone cold. It's like he's lost interest. Put music on hold. He's just finding new things, that's what I'm told. Hey Ben, what are you working on, Movement 3? Who was that girl in your office? The one you were talking to yesterday. What did she look like? She was my age. Minecraft book bag, jeans and a ponytail. <laughs> Ben. Ben. 
you've made some really great progress here, Ben. Not only socially, but dietarily, if that's even a word. And we're extremely pleased that your vocal tick has disappeared. Uh huh. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> How's the Fantasia coming? Does she like burritos? Who? My daughter? Uh huh. I'm sorry, I'll stop. Thank you. She's vegan, so no beef burritos, just lots of vegetables. Just vegetables? Boy, that must be unfortunate. She really likes music. If you finished your Fantasia, you could play it for her. Does she eat artichokes? I think I could choke down an artichoke. You get it? Then is it almost <laughs> done, your Fantasia? I finished it. Oh, that's great. Can I hear it? It's not finished. Will she be coming back to visit? That depends. Ben, can I please hear your Fantasia? Ben, that's just the same three notes over and over. Ben? Ben! Hey, Chloe. Hey. Here, I brought you something. No thanks. The last thing I feel like doing today is reading. It's the Bible. All the information from the study, the proposal procedures notes, it's all in here. Thanks. I think you'll find what you're looking for on page three. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes! I knew it! I knew it! It's nice to see you read that on your own. That's not Spectroscopy. exactly... Spectroscopy? Brain scan. That's not exactly a third grade reader. But you can see what it's done to me, right? Sure, I can read this, but who am I now? You're still you, just a different you. Here, here's your dose for today. What would you do if you were me? I can't help you, Chloe. They're your consequences. Good morning, 176. I don't see your sketchbook if you misplaced it. I was wondering about something in here. I'm late for my 11 o'clock with Eddie. Here on page 3, this breakthrough in treatment will bring all those compromised to a central, manageable point in a coherent, tranquil existence. Excellent reading. Outstanding progress for days. What does this mean? A coherent, tranquil existence? Normalcy. Don't you want to be normal? Not if it means I've got to be tranquil. We're not performing lobotomies. The use of the word tranquil simply refers to a state free from the anxiety of your diagnosis. So normal means tranquil. Your reading comprehension have rapidly increased. I think you would feel satisfaction, perhaps even gratitude. I might, except now my drawing sucks. Can finally maintain your schoolwork, even read aloud in front of the class. Feelings of embarrassment vanquished, social anxiety limited. You'll no longer be the freak sitting alone at lunch. Eating ham and cheese on rye every day? Excuse me? How long have you been working on this normalcy? Well, I suppose you could date project inception to our isolation of a common genetic strand, or you could go back even and further. And did you discuss that with your wife over dinner? Hey, honey, guess what we isolated today? A common genetic strand. I'm not married. Your girlfriend? I'm between romantic entanglements. I'm sure you are if you look at them as entanglements. Have I answered your question sufficiently? I'm scheduled to be elsewhere shortly. I can see your parking space from my window. Your car is here when I go to sleep, and here when I wake up. It's always here. I work more efficiently when the others aren't present. Just put on those headphones and fiddle on your keyboard. Excuse me? What did you have for lunch today? Uh, ham and, uh... Go on, say it. I know. I see the wrappers on your desk Every day. I like ham and cheese on rye. Your big day last week. Lots of big wigs, handshaking and back slapping. A big celebration. Prime rib or fish. You were a no-show. I had some work to do, so I ate in my office. Exhibits the classic symptoms of Asperger syndrome. Verbalizing internal thoughts, social awkwardness, lack of variety in diet, the ability to screen out distractions is fundamental to the subject's creativity. You know what that's from? Obviously, it's from procedures and data from phase two of study N55. It's Ben's diagnosis, written on our first day. Sound familiar? I don't believe subjects are permitted access to that information. Forget the study. I'm talking further back, when you were my age. Probably even further than that. Yes, of course it sounds familiar. You're us. We're you. Misfits. And that's fine. I really don't mind being considered a misfit. Do you? 
What I mind is being treated like I'm one of God's blunders. I am not a blunder. I don't need fix. You're taking an extremely subjective view on what we've accomplished here. Sorry. It's the only one I've got. Don't get me wrong. I admire what you're doing. I mean, look at Eddie. That's a miracle. You made a miracle. Who can do that? But we're not all the same. You can't just lump us into your spectrum because Eddie's miracle is not my miracle or Ben's miracle. Look at Ben. Because of the drug making him normal, he's now joined the world and is now severely crushing on Dr. Evan's daughter. But to get her, he needs his music. She loves music. He makes music. But if he stops taking the drug to make the music to get the girl, he'll stop crushing on the girl and go sit in the corner and make more insane music that the girl will never hear. You're just counting years of groundbreaking research based on an isolated case. Ben's case is not isolated. I can't draw or paint anymore. I can't see the lines and colors. And if I can't see the lines and colors, who am I? I stand corrected. Two isolated cases. How ignorant art thou in thy pride of wisdom? That line. Been reading Frankenstein this entire time? Uh huh. Always wanted to read it. Now, thanks to you, I can and did. Guess I should feel gratified. You can see this, right? This whole scenario. It's so us. You're Victor. You're the creator, and I'm the creature. This appears to be my copy. I borrowed it from your bookshelf. Do you always highlight your casual reading? It's a favorite. Now that's irony. You all over a story about out-of-control science, and one written by a teenage girl. Perfect. Ah, yes, Mary Shelley, the young romantic championing emotion in the individual over reason and science. Smart girl. Naive girl. Where would we be without reason and science and creation? You do know that he dies in the end, right? Victor Frankenstein creates a way to give life to the dead, and then is destroyed by his creation. Of course, but. How many things are we upon the brink of discovering if cowardice or carelessness did not restrain our inquiries? What happens if we all take the drug? Will you give us a hug? Cause we're finally normal. What happens if we all pop the pill? Will we all lose our will for the sake of normal? What happens to the music he plays or the art I create? Does that make us normal? What happens to the people we are? To our gifts that amaze? Just to be well normal? No, it's not worth it. I think that you know that. Yes, I am special. I know you can see that. You can see yourself in me. There's a value in me, a value I didn't quite see, and I can't wait to be free of normal. Just like Victor Frankenstein, your creation has caught you, so you have a choice to make. Will you take it and be normal? Where did you get that? I've stopped taking them. I'm withdrawing from the study. So here, you can have it. What happens if now you take the drug? Will your love life improve? Will you act all normal? What happens to your sandwich on rye? Could you kiss it goodbye just to seem more normal? What happens to your daily routine? How you hide from your staff? Because yeah, that's normal. What happens when your thoughts split in half to your curious brain? Do you think you're normal? No, it's not worth it. I think that you know that. Yes, we are special. I know you can see that. You can see yourself in us. There's a value in this, a value I didn't quite see, and I hope you can be free of normal. What happens if we all talk the same? Will it drive us insane when we're finally normal? Sweet robots who don't challenge the rules that are set by the fools who say what is normal. What happens to the way that we think? Now that we are normal What happens when the strange disappears Does the boredom set in? Oh thank God we're normal No it's not worth it I think that you know that Yes we're special I know you can see that You can see yourself in me There's a value in me A value I didn't quite see And I can't wait to be free of normal. If she could only, if he could only, if 
they could only bridge the distance If she could only, if they could only, if they could only be more normal No one is normal, nothing is normal, whoever said that anything's normal No one is normal, nothing is normal, whoever said that anything's normal Here, friends, a wife and kids, normal. All you have to do is take a little white pill, simple, painless. But if you take it, there'll be no more scientific breakthroughs, no more miracles. Who you are now would be destroyed by the drug, your creation. Well, Today, Eddie. Well, what do you think, Ben? Now what, Chloe? Now that you're better. Now that you're changing. Now that you've given up. I feel fine. I don't know. I didn't give up? Let's go fill this prescription. Should we fill this prescription? So what are we gonna do with this prescription? Okay. I don't know. I don't care. So what now? What are we gonna do? I thought I'd stick with school. But you left the study. You were reading, you were doing math. It was a miracle. I know, and to tell the truth, it felt great. I'm not gonna lie. What's gonna happen now that you've stopped taking it? You didn't ask them? No, I was going to, but I couldn't bring myself. They said it'll take about a month or so, but I'll start seeing the lines and colors again. But you're reading, you're- My disorder? I'm focusing on the positive. I can do this, Mom. I can beat this. And I can do it without the drug. Are you sure? No, but I'm gonna try. With some help, I think I can get my GED. I found this place on a Google search. It sounds like it might work for us. The first college accredited to award bachelor degrees to students with learning disabilities. Everybody's searching for something, but does that something actually exist? Elusive, invisible, evasive The pursuit is too hard to resist So we chase the ghost, we strike a pose, we try to fit in We hide away, we shut our door, we twist in the wind Cause nobody knows Yes, nobody knows There's no normal Special can be a real handful And we love to pretend that Everything's normal when we should agree and admit There's no normal No I thought I was always so different Convinced the world was nothing like me Defensive Unbearable Secluded I put walls up where winter should be I was so afraid the way I made I wouldn't fit in But now I love the part of me I'm fine in my skin It's cool we both know What you all should know There's no normal, uh-oh There's no normal, oh no 
look for the normal and hide all our special Cause sometimes our special can be a real handful And we love to pretend that everything's normal when we should agree and admit There's no normal No I have to sleep with two stuffed animals at night or else I can't sleep at all I used to lick shoes I'm emotionally attached to a rubber duck. I check for monsters in the shower. I love to eat my fingernails. I have an irrational fear of vomit. I, I talk, talk to myself. myself. A lot. <laughs> <laughs>